and segregation in education. And we're talking to uh, Ms. Wynn and Ms. Epperson. And of course, uh, Ms. Wynn, before we uh, head out on the second break, we were talking about some of the artifacts that are located in the uh, museum at uh, the uh, Martin Luther King Magnet School, which was formerly the old Pearl High School. And let's talk about some of the uh, other artifacts uh, well, in that museum. Some of the interesting artifacts, uh, they have the uh, original uh, graduation program from the, from the very first class, mm -hmm. from the class of 1897, 1898. Uh, in the African American community, to find an artifact like that uh, sometimes is unusual. Uh, they have all of the class pictures just about from all of the uh, classes with the exception of a few. Mm -hmm. uh, basketball trophies. Uh, it was something called the Pearl High Voice. Mm -hmm. They have all, I believe, all of those issues, uh, mm -hmm. issues available. Mm -hmm. So it is a, you know, you can just go in there and do a wealth of research on Pearl High School uh, just from what is, a, in, what is located in the archives or what, you know, the, the museum and the archives, as I like to call it. You know, I think, Ms. Everson, one of the things, uh, acti activities that's connected with this centennial celebration is a fundraising activity. And over the last five minutes that we have, let's have you and Ms. Wynn give us some information about uh, the various kinds of fundraising activities that you're going to be involved in and what you would like for people to do in order to assist you between now and uh, the beginning of your centennial celebration. Uh, the most significant uh, activity right now is the construction of a sidewalk on the, the Joe Johnson side of Pearl High School uh, with the entry into the old gymnasium. Um, that sidewalk will consist of 2,000 bricks. Uh, anyone interested in purchasing a brick can do so at a cost of $25. Uh, you need to load, um, contact Mr. Melvin Black to get the information about those bricks, and I think that'll be very interesting. Um, we have more than 2,000 graduates in the school, so it'll be on a first-come, first-served basis. And so uh, you're going to use this brick purchase as part of your uh, fundraising activity. Right. Now, what are you planning on doing with uh, the funds after you raise them outside of the construction of that sidewall? Scholarships, mm -hmm. um, additions to the museum. museum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you've already got many plans in terms of uh, looking uh, using that uh, money. Let's, uh, Ms. Wynn, let's uh, talk about the uh, significance of a Pearl High School. I think that before we leave today, we ought to, uh, at least uh, in our own minds, uh, give people some idea about how significant Pearl High School was in the experience for those who uh, became involved. Now let's use the two of you. How significant was that high school to you, Ms. Wynn? Uh, it was very significant. When I go back and think about some of the teachers that were there and, and those who, who molded uh, us, uh, for instance, uh, Minerva Hawkins, who was in, in history and inspired uh, the chair of the, the Civil Rights Commission, Marian, uh, Mary Barry. Frances Berry. Uh, she inspired me to go into history. Uh, when I think about a Mrs. Uh, Mary Walker, mm -hmm. the late Mary Walker, who was uh, very instrumental in, in making sure you learn how to write, uh, you learned your grammar, you learned English, you, you learned literature. Uh, certainly, one cannot forget uh, the principal, Mr. Hall. Mm -hmm. uh, he, like. Uh, she said, he knew your family. I can remember walking in, and he looked at me and immediately said, you're a Coleman. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, no, I'm a, t he says, but your mother was a Coleman. <laughs> uh, you know, so he, he knew the school was very instrumental, I think, in your growth, uh, not only intellectually, but socially. Uh, I think the teachers instilled in you to be politically astute. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was a comprehensive kind of education that went outside the bounds of academics. Mm -hmm. uh, it prepared you, they prepared you to enter life. Uh, not only just the faculty, but the staff, uh, janitorial staff. It was a family within a family, so to speak. So I, I think that the school was very instrumental. And sometimes I wonder if the children today are receiving that kind of, of nourishment mm -hmm. uh, from today's educational institutions. Very good. You know, Ms. Epperson, I think that uh, when we talk about the significance of, uh, significance of, uh, of a Pearl High School, I think that uh, you would sort of agree with us that, uh, and as you've indicated earlier, that uh, while it is in a segregated setting, uh, for the most part, you did not feel as if you were uh, receiving a, quote, segregated education. A am I correct in, in making that kind of statement? 
Very correct. Um, the instructors took personal time to add or enhance our education. I can remember Reverend Ewing spending his summers with math sessions, uh, Ms. Holland doing chemistry, Mr. Harris doing chemistry in the summer without pay. They were that interested in the students to encourage them to do as much as possible. Mrs. E.F. Walker, an English instructor, was very instrumental in encouraging people to write poetry, stories, and participating in a number of, of contests throughout the city. So, yeah, they enhanced the education Very good. beyond the And place. let me, over the last 45 seconds that we have here, uh, ladies, thank the two of you for coming by and giving us that excellent information on uh, Pearl High School. And before we go, Ms. Wynn, let's uh, have either of the two of you give us some information about uh, your last, uh, your, your next uh, celebration date. Now, that centennial celebration will be observed when now? The second weekend of August. Second weekend of August. 1998. 1998. That mm -hmm. will be the celebration of the 100 years of activity of Pearl High School. And let me thank the two of you for coming by and giving us that information. And let me encourage you to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.